Okay, here we marked it out. Inch and a half, so half of that is three quarters. So I made a line across here and one across here. I use my combination square for that. It's nice and handy. Then uh, we're just gonna round off the corners here a bit. I'll just take it over to the drill press and uh, drill the holes and then knock these corners off. was a quarter round over. Just gives it a nice feel. Well here we're about ready to assemble so I got bolt, washer, go through my stock. I'm using the nylon washer. Made up a spacer, other nylon washer. I'm putting on a wing nut, but I'm sure I'm going to go to a knob because wing nuts you don't get a lot of torquing power with. Here I've started on my platform here for the camera. This is the swivel point where it comes off the arm. Here I've got the thumb screw here that I'm going to use to mount the camera. And I made some brackets up, and they're going to be mounted on here. And I'll be cutting this all the way through, and this will be to swing it from uh, landscape to portrait. And measurements are nine, nine and three quarters, I believe. Yeah, nine and three quarters by three and a half. Okay, we'll uh, get back to you. I'm going to cut this in half and we'll mount these brackets on. And maybe you're wondering how I made the brackets. Well, I've got this piece of scrap aluminum. I just cut off a section and made my brackets out of that. There they'll be pivoting. So here we got the bracket on for our landscape portrait. So we can just rotate it when we need it. Otherwise, we'll just leave it in the landscape. That's the most common where I use it anyhow. And we got a thumb screw here. I just put this in like I'm gonna probably put a piece of O-ring on there just to hold it. That way it won't fall out on you. Like it's just friction fit right now in the plywood. But maybe I'm gonna add an O-ring here. Here we're just uh, marking the head of the bolt where we gotta bend it. Not bending the bolt, mind you, we're bending this washer. This washer, I like using it just to bend it over. That'll hold the head of the bolt from spinning. You can put a screw to the side of this or drill a hole and put a screw in it and that'll stop the washer from spinning. Here we've drilled in the hole, now the head of the bolt will come against this plate and it won't spin anymore. Here I made some modifications to my uh, <coughs> camera arm. I had it hanging from the ceiling up here. But I really didn't like it, so I changed it. And with this long arm, 
it's a lot of weight and it acts like a lever you can tighten this and tighten it trying to make it hold but it wants to drift right back so what I ended up doing I made a little assistant she doesn't get paid much but it'll uh, give me some options on different heights I can make final adjustments with this one and this one here also adjusts and I put a notch in it to help it stay in the adjustment. Here it just clears the cabinet for the swing the other way and I'll be putting another notch in the middle here. So all I'm doing is taking a pencil well, I left my pencil back on the table. And I'm just eyeballing it. See where about half is. Make a couple of lines. And I'll divide that in half again. And this is where I'll be making my little notch. Okay, here we got to get it all folded up. I can put these bolts in, got the right length. So they're in there to stay now. So we can just, when we need it, and just put it in position. Just like that. Then we can swing it. Where we really need it. Well, I took uh, my wall bracket down. I to throw some finish on it, and maybe somebody's out there interested in making one of these. Uh, we're one foot this way, a foot this way, and here we got this hole. It's <clears throat> like. Uh, half of an inch and a half, so that'd be three quarter from three quarter. And I put a secondary in here and I kept it in about an inch and just gave it a little bit of a shape. So we got four inches from the bottom and we got, what, two and a half inches this way. And then we just connected the dots and made an angle. That's about all I can say about this. It's uh, three quarter inch thick. It was just a piece of scrap and kicking around. Now this is my assistant. And the assistant is inch and a half by all oh, about three quarters, about five eighths beyond. And the length of it is 13 and a half inches. Like when you're making one of these, you'll go with the measurements that most suit your project. These are three and a half, the brackets that hold the assistant on. And I just put in a couple of holes, three quarters from each edge. And then a quarter inch hole for the bolt. Maybe you want to go five sixteenths. But these are the bolts I had on hand, so I used them. And this is the upper arm and the upper arm is 39 inches and 
you'll notice here I got my anti-spin bolt clips I made just a washer and you bend them up you just measure the head of the bolt into in the hole and you bend that at a 90 degree angle in the vise I drill a hole in it and put a small screw in it about a half inch long and now this is the lower arm and it's running at 18 but you can make it whatever you need for your application I already gave you the measurement of this I'll be taking this all off do a refinishing job on it but here uh, I put in a spacer I found that was easiest to the, make an adjustment that spacers inch and a half and it's just a piece of tubing whatever works and here again I've got one of those anti-spin clips here you can see it's hitting the top so this washer can't spin and this is bent over onto the head of the bolt so now the bolt can't spin when you go to tighten it that about covers it and now I just gotta do some more disassembly and then I'm gonna do the finish <laughs>